Welcome to If It Scares You, Jump Scares, Episode 1, I've Only Got Eyes for You. Deep breaths, deep breaths. All right, Tuesday. Let's see if we can be better than Monday. Peter! Peter! Hey! Oh, hey, Nico. I don't want you to panic, but I've got some good news and bad news. Um, how about we start the morning with some good news? Oh, I lied. There isn't any good news, but Alicia Laurie is coming your way. Oh, seriously? Where, where, where did you see... <clears throat> Hi. Are you Peter Campbell? Uh... Yeah, we've been sitting next to each other in history for the last three years. Oh, cool. Um, listen, did you happen to leave this note in my locker, asking me to the sweetheart dance? Yeah, I'm sorry. How did you know where my locker was? I saw you walking over to it one day after class. So you were watching me? Uh, No, I mean, my eyes just glanced over at you. (laughs) Right, right. Well, listen, I don't even know you. I didn't have your number, so I just thought I'd write a note. Now I can see that was really weird. Look, I'm sorry. If we could just pretend that never happened, I promise it won't bother you again. Yeah, it was a little strange. But I'll see you in science. Maybe just start with saying hi first. We share history class, not... (sighs) Just walk away. Okay, it's really not that funny. Sorry, I know that was mean of her, but her locker? I didn't know how else to talk to her. Try, hmm, let's see, talking to her? I don't know. I mean, isn't that what you're supposed to do in high school? No, you're supposed to go to football games, hang out in the parking lot of Diggy's Diner, and go out to parties. Nico, we have never done any of those things. Exactly. We're not like everyone else. We're better. Mm Mm-hmm, because that's not conceited thinking at all. We are the type of people that don't interfere with anything. Stick to yourself and you'll hopefully survive the next four years. You shouldn't get so caught up on finding a date. But it's not about finding a date. It's about finding someone in general. Someone who is funny and loyal and has a great smile and can be your best friend. I thought I was your best friend. I mean another best friend. Every day I see all those people in the hallways holding hands, sharing laughs, and you can tell that they're happy. I just want to know what that's like. Hold on. What are you doing? I'm just drawing up something real fast. Everybody already thinks of you as the weird kid with the sketchbook. This is why. Uh, Just add a few colors here. Look, why can't a girl like this ever like a guy like me? Do you want the truth or the honest truth? Whichever will be more honest, I guess. Look, Peter, I love you. I really do. But talking to you is like talking to someone without a pulse. Uh, Ouch, Uh, that's a little harsh. What I mean to say is that you gotta stop worrying about what everyone else thinks because that'll make you boring. Guys like us just don't get the girl. We just have to accept that. Anyway, if you drop off your stuff at home real quick, we can still make it to the arcade for a solid hour or so before it closes. Ugh, fine. But once I run out of quarters, you need to spot me the rest. Deal. Peter. Peter. (laughs) Peter. Are you awake, Peter? Uh Uh-huh. The later you go to bed, the more hallucinations you'll have. That's just fact, Peter.
Who left the two most unartistic people to paint the set? Speak for yourself. Who thought signing up for drama was a good idea? Oh, hey, Mr. Rossi, come see what we have so far. Sure, let's see what you have here. Hmm. Hmm? Boys, this is supposed to be the Mayflower, one of the most famous ships in history. This boat looks like it'd be lucky to even float. But it's a painting. Clear the stage, boys. We're not done yet. Consider it a necessary break. <laughs> we need to block scenes three and four. Attention, everyone. I need all of you in the audience to start taking their places. We've plenty to do this afternoon. Before we begin, though, I just got word that a new student has joined our class. Whoever you are, will you come up to the stage, please? Th this is Gabby. Gabby, the office didn't send me your last name. Oh, it's, it's, uh, Hawk. Huh, I've never seen someone who takes three seconds to think of their last name. Tell everyone where you came from. Oh, it's, it's this really old place. You guys wouldn't know it. Interesting. Places, everyone! Peter! Yoo-hoo! You there? What? You good? Rossi told us to clear the stage. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just... Does that girl look familiar to you? Did we see her at the arcade yesterday? No. Remember that piece of paper I crumbled up yesterday? Oh, she's that girl from your photo! That's not possible. Boys, if you don't wheel those flats off the stage, I'm going to let out a shriek that is so loud, you're still going to hear it when you're in college. Someone's pulling a prank. That's it. They must have followed us on our way home and saw me draw up that picture. And they gave one of their friends from another school a makeover to mess with me. First, you decide to be obsessive over a dance, and now you're turning into a lunatic. What else could it be? Could it be? be that maybe you've seen this girl before and accidentally thought of her when you were drawing your picture? I swear I've never seen this person before. Big shriek coming in five, four, three! Look, be weird later, okay? For now, if she's freaking you out that bad, just keep your distance from her. All right, Gabby. In order to include you in our production, I have made the unprecedented decision to write the original role of ship hand number four. Now, you're first going to stand downstage. You left a note in your locker? I mean, it was really sweet, but who does that, right? So, did you say no? Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm not going to be the girl who goes with Sketchbook Kid. <laughs> Oh god, I was hoping that you weren't listening in on that. Who cares what she thinks anyway? She acts like she's so cool even though she was the president of the anime club in ninth grade. That's actually pretty cool. Look, I'm not gonna let it get to me, but I'm just gonna try to get out of my own head for a bit. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Uh, sure. You take care of yourself, alright? See ya. Where did I toss that drawing? Nico and I were standing here. Oh, get a hold of yourself. Somebody probably threw it away. Oh no. You don't have to try to walk away. I already saw you. That obvious, huh? I hope you're not planning to be a spy one day because you'd be pretty awful at it. I wasn't spying, I promise. Relax, I'm just giving you a hard time. Is this the route you normally take home? Uh, yeah. It's the long way, but I, I don't know. I just find that this place gives me a lot of peace. It's usually hard to describe when I talk to someone about it. What about you? Do you live here? My family used to live near Bradbury Lane. Did you just move back? You could, you could say that. Oh, uh, what are you drawing there? Uh, sorry, that's none of my business. Don't be. Uh, I think this place gives me a bit of that peace you're, you're talking about as well. 
It's so beautiful here, especially in the change of seasons. Don't worry. This place comes alive a bit more when spring fully kicks in. I bet. So what do you do around here? Not much, really. I usually go to school, avoid everyone, and then I go home. Why is that? The less you go out, the less opportunity you get for people to pick on you. Wow, that's deep. Well, say that you weren't worried about going out, where would you go? I don't know. Oh, come on, you don't have to be all, oh, woe is me, I'm a nerd, around me. Where would you go? <laughs> uh, there's a really nice arcade down the street. Eh, I don't really play games. There are lots of bookstores around here that are small but relaxing. Maybe the bowling alley. I think I've been there before. When I was little, of course. What's it... What's it called again? 30, 30 Acres. acres. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that family's been there for years. It's pretty fun, you know? If you like old run-down buildings. Weird. Those are actually my favorite types of places. You want to go? Like, right now? Yeah. Do you have other plans? No, I, I just need to... Go bowling and get your mind off of school. All right, fine. I'm in. Grab your stuff. You're about to get beaten bowling. Oh, I see. I just made plans with a competitive person then. Didn't you say earlier that you were going to be the one to beat me? That was before I found out you were going to bowl a 225. I didn't realize you were such a prodigy. Are you sure you've never been in a league before? No, my, my dad used to take me out when I was younger. I miss him so much. Is he? Yeah. It's It's been a while, but I miss him a lot. I bet. I'm really sorry to hear that. It's fine. Just coming back here has just felt so... Strange? <laughs> I was going to say fulfilling. I've only been here since yesterday, but coming has given me a lot of closure and a lot to be excited about. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, high school is new. Also, I just found out today that I get to play ship hand number four in the school play, so that's really great. Oh, I think it's going to be a winning performance. <laughs> I'd like to propose a toast to new beginnings and to stepping out of our comfort zones. Can you toast using only Pepsi? Just, just clink your cup to mine, please. So, person who avoids everyone, I'm assuming you're going to be skipping the dance that's happening on Friday? How did you know? There are posters everywhere. I couldn't even open up my locker without having to push aside a few flyers. Gotcha. Uh, I actually asked someone in a really stupid way and got heavily rejected. So no, I think I'm gonna pass. Hmm. That's a bummer. I thought tonight really would have brought you out of your shell. Losing 78 to 225 really destroyed my self-esteem, actually. <laughs> <laughs> would you want to go? What? Well, would you like to go to the dance with me? Really? Yeah. I had a really good time tonight, and you're definitely cooler than my buddy Nico, so yeah. I'd like to take you. If you don't want to, though, you can also pretend that I never asked. No, I'd love to. As long as you promise not to wear purple. What do you have against purple? Nothing. Your face just made that color while you were bowling, so if you do that again, you're going to look like a giant grape. Okay, I'll try not to. Cheers. To dancing till our faces literally change color. <laughs> Cheers. Peter. Peter! Peter, are you awake, Peter? Uh, again? Gabby? What are you doing here? Sorry, I know it's late, but I really wanted to see you again. Do you want to go for a walk? It's 1 a.m. So? Just sneak out. My parents would kill me. Come on, what are you going to remember more in the morning? A night full of sleeping or fun? Gabby, I'm going to go back to bed. I'll just catch up with you tomorrow, yeah? Sure, I guess. Gabby, hey, Gabby! Don't be mad, I'll see you tomorrow! Wow. 
what just happened? She was at your window? Yeah. She said that she wanted to spend more time together. Uh, red flag at 1 a.m.? You sure you want to go to the dance with this girl? Yeah. Well, minus that. She was really cool. Hey! Don't mention anything! Gabby! This is Nico, my friend that I was telling you about. Nice to meet you. Peter said that you were way cooler than I. Actually, I said quite the opposite. Ouch, dude. Oh no. What? Alicia's here. I thought she dropped out of the play. Who's Alicia? She's just this girl that Peter asked out. Is this the person who rejected your invite to the dance? Yes, but I'm really over it. Can we move the set? We just rolled it back out. Well, Mr. Rossi wants me to rehearse my solo. Well, I'm sure that Mr. Rossi knows one can totally sing and dance while the set's still on the stage. Well, why don't we ask him right now? Look, if it's that big of a deal, I'll move it. it it's fine. Just leave it. I'm wasting time arguing with you guys anyway. Um, who gave you the right to talk to them like that? Like what? Like a snob? <laughs> Excuse me? They're just doing their job, aren't we all? This whole show, it's a team effort, yeah? Okay, new girl, I really don't need this right now. Oh, really? Do you think Peter needed to be ridiculed in front of the whole school when you rejected him for the dance? What are you even talking about? Peter Campbell is the nicest person at this school. The last thing he needs is having someone like you talking down to him. Girls! Hey, hey, stop it! What's going on here? Nothing. Your ship pan keeps putting her nose in places she shouldn't. Alicia, go take your seat. Gabby, you too. If I see anybody fighting again, they are being dismissed from rehearsal today. Am I understood? That's quite some date you have there, Peter. I didn't know that she'd... Don't worry. I'm already moving the stage. That's really funny, sweetheart. I told him he should join our team if he knew so much about grills. Peter, if you find yourself needing some extra cash this summer... I'd rather clean bathrooms, Dad. Suit yourself, but most people aren't like us. <laughs> the Campbell family will always be known for their good work ethic. Leave him alone. Peter, do you have any plans after dinner tonight? I was going to head over to Nico's house to play some games for a bit. Who would that be? It might be that package I ordered. I'll be right back. That's fine if you want to go over there. But don't make it too late of an evening. Just because tomorrow is Friday, that doesn't mean you can't lose out on sleep. Got it. Peter, your girlfriend is here? Girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. You might want to tell the girl at our door otherwise. Uh, excuse me for just a minute. Hi. Hey, what are you doing here? I just wanted to apologize for snapping at Alicia earlier. Thought it really wasn't my place. Oh, uh, it's all good. Gabby here wanted to know if you'd like to go to the arcade with her tonight. Oh, I, I don't know. Hi, I'm Diane, Peter's mother. Nice to meet you. What do you say? Do you want to go? I really can't. I was going to go over to Nico's after dinner. If, if you don't want to spend time with me, that's fine. You can hang out with Nico any night, Peter. I was thinking we could make some plans for tomorrow night. What's tomorrow night? The Sweetheart's Dance. You have a girlfriend and you're going to a dance? Uh, yes, to all of that. Uh, sure, we can do that. Just let me go make a phone call upstairs real quick. Okay, one second. When are you coming? The game just downloaded and I don't know how much longer I can wait. About that. I don't think I can come over anymore. What? Lame. Why? Gabby just showed up and wants to hang out. So? Tell her you're busy. Dude, she's talking to my parents downstairs and totally guilt-tripped me. I can't. God, these last few days have been just really strange. It sounds like it. She totally went off on Alicia today. And let's not get over the fact that she called to your window at 1 a.m. 
I know, I know. That date at the bowling alley went so well, and then all of a sudden she's gotten obsessive and totally weird. And something's been really bothering me. What is it? The night before she showed up at school, I could have sworn I heard voices coming from my window then, too. Do you think she's stalking you or something? I don't know. Can I ask you a question? <sighs> I guess. You agreed that she looked a lot like the photo I drew on Tuesday, right? Sure, but your photo looked like any other girl. You know that drawing looked exactly like Gabby. And then the next day, she shows up at school? What are you asking? You don't think that... Do you think that your drawing came to life? How else do we explain everything that's been going on? It's simple. You found someone who is crazy and loves how dorky you are. Dude, I'm serious. What do I do? I think the answer is right in front of you. Don't go to the dance with her. Let her down easy. I can't. She's so excited. And I still am too. Then have fun waking up every night at 1 a.m. I gotta go, though. Let me know what you end up doing. Fine. See ya. Peter, come on. Gabby's getting cold down here. I'll be right there. Happy Friday, everyone. Don't forget the Sweethearts Dance is tonight in the main gym from 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Tickets can still be purchased at the bookkeeper office and are $25 for pre-sale and $30 at the door. Make it a night to remember. I had a great time last night. Me too. Well, just three periods left and then I can go home and start getting ready for tonight. About the dance. What if I came and picked you up from your place? Just give me the address and I can be there at six. No, that's okay. My house is it's full of cobwebs and everything, and we're still packing. I'll just I'll just come to your place again. We can just walk there and cut through that path in the cemetery that we both like. Your parents were really sweet anyways. I would really love to see them again. Gotta go. See you tonight. What am I gonna do? I like your dress. Thanks. I had a feeling you were going to wear purple anyway, so I thought I'd match. Yeah. You know, I've had a really good week with you so far. I've never really connected with someone like this before. Me too. It's been nice. Is everything okay? Yeah. Well, why wouldn't it be? Nothing. You're just... Giving a lot of bland half-responses right now. I'm sorry. It's just really cold out here. Actually, the weather's fine. But I do need to talk to you about something. Okay, sure. What's up? Okay, uh, I'm not really sure how to say this. I agree. These last few days have been good. They really have. But it also seems like you're putting way more into this relationship than I have so far. And it shouldn't be that way. I see. So, what are you saying? I've been doing a lot of thinking since yesterday, and I like you. But maybe it's best if we were friends instead? I mean, we're both so busy with the play, and you're still so new. I just don't think we should rush into things. Why? Are you embarrassed to be seen with me? No, it's not that at all. So what is it, Pierre? It's obviously has something to do with me. Is it because I yelled at Alicia yesterday at school or that I won't let you come see my house? No, it's not that. Then what is it? You've just been really clinging, okay? I mean, you come to my window in the middle of the night, t twice, by the way, and you just show up at dinner unexpectedly and then, yes, the Alicia thing. It's just a lot, okay? You've, we've only known each other for three days. Three days. I thought I was ready for this, but I guess I'm not. Look, maybe it isn't the best idea if we go to the dance. Why don't we just take tonight off and talk about everything tomorrow? Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay! You do so much for someone and now they're telling you that they don't appreciate it? You should have just been up front with me! I've absolutely been the one putting in the most effort! 
Do you know how many eyeballs I've had to go through to match the ones that you had in your drawing? How about all the legs I had to dig up to give myself that tall and thin look that you were admiring? Or all the heads? All the heads I had to examine to find that perfect curly hair that you like? You living boys are all the same. So ungrateful for people who genuinely like you and I'm sick of it! What? Why are you staring at me? Just go. You can run away and I'll leave you alone. You're, suppo you're supposed to be terrified. But it's fine? Seriously? We don't have to talk at school or anything. We can just pretend that we've never met. <laughs> Why? Didn't you just tell me that that was who you really were? Oh, that finger is always hard to take off. Do you know how long I've been waiting to meet someone like you? I thought I was the only dead kid at school. My parents and I have never met someone similar since we came here. Had I known that this was who you really were all this time, I wouldn't have acted the way I did. I'm... I'm so sorry, Gabby. I... I really am. Let's start over. What do you say we go and... Dance until our feet fall off. <laughs> You're so lame. <laughs> but, but really? I am all in, really. That was wrong of me to even consider breaking things off. So, are you in? The dance already started, so we're going to be late anyways. Deal. Apology accepted. But you might want to put your finger back on first. Oh, right. Sorry. Shall we? We shall. I like your shoes. Thanks, they're boys, size sevens. I got them with the feet. Well, they look good. I'm really sorry about keeping the drawing from you. I just, I just really wanted you to like me. Don't worry about it. It's what's on the inside that counts. I've Only Got Eyes For You was written by Jonah Leisure and produced by Jonah Leisure, Garrett Ryan, and Andrew Yoder. Guest starring in this episode is Brianna Stametti as Gabby, Kimball Murray as Peter, Ryan Singh as Nico, Janelle Thirtyacre as Alicia, Brandon Franklin as Mr. Campbell, and Wren as Mrs. Campbell. Produced at the Hive Studio in Boise, Idaho. Be sure to comment, rate, review, and subscribe to If It Scares You Jump Scares for more episodes in the future.